So Gracie needs some breakfast. Um, I just had a muffin this morning. But that was like, I had like a conference call. So she was kind of asleep. She was talking to her mom back home. Um, so here's what's crazy, right? And, and you know, I mean, it, you could argue that, you know, the world gets more expensive or something like that. But of course, you know, this morning, uh, Gracie was in the room and I was in the living room area um, talking to her mom in the Philippines, essentially for free <laughs> on a video call. And you know, I mean, let's face it, 20 years ago, it would be like, oh yeah, I just had a video call with one of my friends in the Philippines, and it only cost $19. Um, whereas today, I mean, you know, of course, the internet's not free, and nor is the four, two, three hundred dollar phone or whatever that each of us have, I don't know. But anyway, so we are gonna go here, we will take an obligatory selfie in front of the giant sign, uh, and then we will go in and uh, have baked goods, along with probably some caffeinated beverage that's what you do when you're on vacation and and it's actually it's actually not super cold right now it was a little colder earlier but um anyway so uh can we even uh, can we gotta get out further because this this will be the this will be the uh the clickbait that we use for the youtube video right here there you go see So, we use that, and in we go for food. I'll actually show you the, the menu. It's, you know, it's, it's quite normal um, as far as U.S. things go, and we can get, you know, <laughs> I love how they call it a dessert waffle versus breakfast. <laughs> um, but anyway, so they have pizzas, and it's, it's basically a lunch place, but we can definitely get some... Uh, Get some breakfast, so we'll do that. We'll probably uh, get something like that. It'll be a little sweet, um, but we could also get some sandwiches. So, in we go. So what I didn't realize actually is it's not just like a boat. You the oyster bar, the bistro, the cafe, and then there's also Pete's Coffee over there. So we can easily get some food here and figure that out. Oh, they even have breakfast. Look at that. Oh, granola and yogurt. That's cool. They have like decent food for breakfast. The wraps are pretty good price. They're only like, I mean, that's actually, considering where we are, $10 for that, that's not really excessive. Um, so, in we go. So, good morning. <laughs> so here's, our, here's the food we got. Um, I got a uh, Belgian waffle with eggs and bacon. Uh, and then Gracie got the, uh, basically a breakfast burrito. Um, and it was all like, Oh, and then I got a regular coffee, and she got some hot chocolate. Uh, it was all like $29, like whatever. Uh, it's not too bad. But I didn't realize that right across from this place is Madame Tussauds. And Madame Tussauds actually holds a really warm place in my heart, because that's where we had uh, a really cool uh, VC user group meeting, a bug meeting. So that was, that was pretty decent. But basically, um, we went to the Bowdoin Cafe. Regular coffee's available there too, and then you go over to Pete's for the special hot chocolate. Hopefully they made it correctly. It looks like they did. Um, they certainly have the correct label on there. She wanted it less sweet. That's a burrito. Yeah, good, right on, cool. And the woman that, uh, woman that checked us out, she was Filipino. So I dropped the Salamat Po on her. No big whoop. I'm pretty Tagalog right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll check you later. It's, it's, it's really cool here. I'm, I'm glad we're here. And it's not too crowded. We were able to. She was actually. There's another table. I think. Oh, there was a table behind us. But um, so actually, if any of you are uh, watching this, come on by because there's three empty chairs. Ciao. Pretty tall. It's good that I know my size. Leaving the restroom. So, all right, we've done the Bowden Bakery thingy, and there you are. Oh, so wait, wait, so. Now, I didn't bring sunglasses simply because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's overcast, as you can see. Uh, but, so that's why I'm squinting. All right. So, we're obviously still here at Fisherman's Wharf. And, $45 daily maximum parking, $12 an hour. That's not ridiculous, actually, considering where it is. Um, anyway, but so the breakfast was good. It was, you know, no different than really any other breakfast burrito. Although, oh, that's the street food. 
What street you food? Oh, uh, I know. I didn't even think. You know what? I completely forgot about that. That there's basically like street food, kind of. Yeah. I that's mean. What I was thinking when we come here, I thought we're going here, and then you said we're going there for breakfast, and then I said really, so I thought we're coming here because I thought this is street food. Well, it's, I mean, kind of, right? I mean, yeah, it's not, enough, it's it's fun. more it's more street food than what we just ate, that's for sure. But at least it's cheaper. And it's not I necessarily know? cheaper, but we can go, we can go see it. I mean, obviously, if we got lobster this morning instead of uh, something else. Coffee for $2.71, that's about the same price as I just paid. Um, so, that's, no, nah, we just ate, thank you, though. Yeah. It does, yeah, it totally smells good. Yeah, definitely should have eaten here. But, uh, that will be for a next time. It's amazing that sort of one of the big attractions is an Applebee's. Ripley's Believe It or Not, and then Madame Tussauds. It's sort of, yeah, there's, well, oh, they're all, yeah, they're all that size, actually, because it's made in bone. Anyway, let's go down here and just walk around, walk around the pier. Because we can eat. We can eat anywhere. We can't necessarily see the San Francisco Bay everywhere. Just a small bike. Yeah, Gracie, uh, we're definitely going to rent a... Um, I always want to keep saying a bicycle built for two. You know, that little limerick, I suppose, song, whatever. Um, a tandem bike. Gracie's gotten distracted by... What have you gotten distracted by? By, oh, by crabs? Speedy. Slice of pizza and a can of soda, four dollars and seventy-five cents. Again, not ridiculous considering where we are. Um, actually, that's a really good price considering where we are. I mean, two fifty for Pellegrino—that's that, that's pretty awesome. So that's kind of neat, actually, because I think one of the, a lot of things that frustrate me, and more specifically of Las Vegas, is the fact that everything there is just ridiculously expensive. I mean, I think we paid eighteen dollars for a salad the last time we were there. Um, all right, so we're gonna go check out some areas over there. Over there, it looks very industrial. Uh, and then, obviously, here are the restaurants here. So what we'll do is we will, is it cold? Yeah, it looks cross. That's kind of neat. Right on. Talk about a timeless car. I mean, you can see Volkswagen bugs or Volkswagen buses. And I mean, it simply is, um, they still run, but it's like timeless. I mean, it could be 1970 or it can be 2000 and 2018. And uh, so there's, okay, so down there, I've been there. And down there is a submarine that I think I've walked on before. And it was like, oh yeah, look, the inside of a submarine. Um, and then the whole view Alcatraz thing is, uh, well, I've done that, but actually we should see how much it is. I mean, I know you can just like kind of cruise around, but bridge to bridge cruise, $42. California Sunset Twilight Cruise is 70. And then Golden Gate is uh, 33. So, all right, so we're not gonna go there, but what we are gonna do is walk down here. Whoops, there we go. And cruise over to Gir Ghirardelli Square and then basically see what the view is like over there. I can't remember where the better view is from um, uh, of the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, obviously, we could cruise over to Golden Gate Park, and that might be something that we'll do, actually, because that would be kind of fun. What time is it right now? It's probably about 11. So we have, like, two hours. You got a 1 o'clock checkout? Yeah. Right? 10 okay, cool. 10.51. All right, awesome. So we got plenty of time. All right, cool. Look, a Hanukkah boat. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Two hundred dollars a person for three-quarter day fishing trips. I don't know whether that's a good deal or not. I've never done one in San Diego. I can tell you that if it's chilly here, it'll be even colder out of the water. So I'm not paying money to be colder than I am now. That's for sure. Plus, I don't particularly like to catch my fish. I like to purchase it. it seems a lot more efficient that way, actually. So not that I have any sort of interest in, you know, coming to a place to get cheaper prices on drinks. 
But I did want to mention, I mean, the prices of things, and these are always kind of cool, right? There is something sort of romantic about that. Ooh, shiny red ball! Um, anyway, the prices of things, it's actually not that expensive if you consider the level of tourist that this place is. Um, so that's actually kind of cool. Uh, you're coming here for vacation. Um, because as I mentioned before, I go to a lot of conferences, right? And they, a lot of them used to be at Moscone, but of course Moscone is still completely ripped apart. Uh, Moscone North and South, uh, and then Mos or certainly uh, South is completely ripped apart. Um, the uh, AWS show, uh, conference, AWS Summit was at Moscone West, and that's perfectly intact, and it was, uh, it was great. But I mean, you know, these are like, this is like fairly reasonable. Um, considering, uh, by contrast, the other places I go to, i.e. Las Vegas, uh, I don't believe that they're, I, at least my perspective, my perception is that this is much less expensive. And it's also near the water, and it's also not cheesy, like, I mean, that's cheesy, right? T-shirts and trinkets and sunglasses, but it's, uh, it's not, uh, I don't know, there's just something about Las Vegas that I dislike. What did my buddy Todd say? He goes, uh, yeah, Las Vegas is my favorite city to leave. <laughs> Vegas? Vegas, yeah, that's what Todd said. He's like, oh yeah, I love Las Vegas, it's my favorite city to leave. So, but, you know, I mean, obviously there's a lot of touristy stuff. I mean, you know, you've got In-N-Out Burger. Uh, there was, yeah. Oh, cool, specialty socks. Um, so Gracie and I just bought this Mick, that's how I, I would probably say Minnie Mouse, right? Yeah. So you got that for your Reese, which is cool, $15. And uh, so that's good. So you heard, or you re oh, and you got the pink going on there. Yeah, so Eurice is going to look as amazing as Gracie shortly. So uh, what was interesting is we got this, and the guy who uh, sold it to us, he's a gentleman on the side of the street, right? And, uh, you know, he says $15, and you, know, you could argue, okay, yeah, I'm going to bargain with this guy, and it's like, okay, whatever. But it actually is handmade. Uh, he claimed that he and his family make these. He's from China. Um, and he's living here, as there are many people that, from other countries that live here. It's a very international city. I think this guy's backing. He's going straight. Good. Um, and uh, and so that's cool. You don't want to wear it? I mean, it will keep us warm. I know it will keep you warm, but... <laughs> It'll keep you warm, but you're... you're... No, it will make me... I mean, it'll... it will make me like a kid. It will make you like a kid, yeah, but that's okay. They, trust me, they already say that. <laughs> so, don't worry. So, here is an entire... <laughs> so, we're being attacked by people on scoot. Now, this, that's what I'm talking about right there. Set the trends, buddy. See? Of course, to do so, he had to steal it from this guy. So, that was that's kind of a bummer. But, um, anyways, that was kind of cool. Before, there was a... Uh, a group of people on, uh, what do you call it, Segways. Um, which, you know what's funny about the Segway? So the Segway, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but when it was invented, uh, at the time I was working in radio at KFMB in San Diego, Star 100.7. Uh, and uh, the guy that invented it, he came on the, the morning show, brought a Segway with him. Uh, and of course, one of the many questions was, okay, so is it safe, you know? And I learned then that it has, I believe, 12 gyroscopes inside of it. Uh, to keep it upright as well as um, for it to um, make sure that it stops when you want to stop, basically, from a safety perspective. So, uh, so these are these are these are everywhere, right? I mean, the, the little store, you know, like so you get keychains, that sort of thing. But it's uh, it's kind of cool. And so there is Ghirardelli chocolate up there, and then I believe Ghirardelli Square nearby. But actually. The, the beach so there really is no beach um, oh the bridge okay cool yeah 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 sorry sorry Golden Gate Bridge so we're gonna we're gonna walk there I tell you what let's walk through here over to the over to a view of the Golden Gate Bridge well actually so let's take a look at this map you can see exactly where we are um, so we're here and there's the pier 
and then the bridge is obviously okay. that way right there. So we'll be able to see it. So if we walk out here, that'll be cool, and then it'll be... Yeah, actually, you know what? We should probably just walk all the way down here and walk to the end of the municipal pier. I okay. think we can do that. Okay, as long as... We'll figure it out. We still have time, then. Yeah, we have time. I mean, we, uh, it's going to take us... You know, we'll leave an hour, basically, to okay. get back to the well, uh, hotel. Yeah. Maritime museum uh, kind of thing. But this is maritime museum. Mm, I think so. That's probably not going to allow us to walk through unless maybe we can walk where those guys are walking but on that beach over there. there. I mean, we can see the bridge from here, certainly, but it would be neat to get to get closer. Where's the bridge? So, yeah. nope. Yeah. On the left, it's you'll be able to see it right now. Ah, okay. uh, yeah, it's a little Yep, yep. That's the famous bridge, yeah. I suppose from no matter where you live in the world, you've seen pictures of that bridge, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's always in the movies. Always in the movies, yeah, that's probably accurate. Yeah. So we're getting there. And with any luck, I just felt some raindrops. With any luck, it's not going to rain. So this literally seems to be only here for the benefit of the tourists. Now, we're feeling raindrops, but the good news is that it really isn't sort of like rain, clouds. I mean, there is a chance of rain today, of course. Not of course, but there is, according to the, um, according to the forecast, thank you, weather.com, but we're waterproof. We'll dry off when we get back to San Diego. Um, but the point is, is that we're coming here to basically do what these people are doing as well, which is get in front of the Golden Gate Bridge and take Gracie's picture. So we've taken our obligatory pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge, as well as Alcatraz. Oh, and then chocolate. Oh, and then the, uh, oh shoot, what is that building? I'm trying to remember the name of the company that they credit for that building with the, with the peak on it. I can't remember. I'm sure I'll figure it out once I, I'll figure it out in post. But it's pretty neat. I will say that I will come to this city for conferences. Oh, I prefer it so much over Las Vegas. Um, there's just so much to do and all the walking that you can do. You can do it outside by the water or you can do it, you know, up in sort of some degree of nature, if you will. I mean, that is a park. And then there's another park over there, Golden Gate Park. Um, and, uh, or within the city, quite frankly. I mean, it's not like you can't, it's, you definitely get some exercise walking up and down the hills, right? So that's kind of cool. Um, and in fact, before, uh, when I would stay at the W, which is right across from Moscone North South, uh, I would just simply walk down Howard Street all the way to Embarcadero, and me and my guys, we used to meet there like right before PM World every year. Um, so, you know, it's not that far of a walk. I mean, I don't know, eight blocks maybe, something like that. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if we're, uh, if Uber would be the, I don't know, Uber would probably be the quickest way back, but we don't really need to get there till about 12.45, uh, and then check out 1 o'clock, and then BART back to SFO. So anyway, it's Mike's and Gracie from SFO, saying I hope you're living the dream, because if you are not living the dream, boom. So another free Mike and Gracie tip 2018 as a tourist 
is if you come to this station here on Bay Street, right? Which is basically at the end of the Powell and Mason street line, because uh, they both end up going to the same uh, direction, then, sorry, <laughs> then uh, the cool thing is, is there's at least this morning and even now, uh, there's no line. And so that's kind of cool. Actually, we just sort of ended up here in happenstance. Um, and if you don't know, it's seven dollars each way, which is uh, which is totally great. So uh, what we did is we came down here, and uh, and you end up right here. Fisherman's Wharf is. It, I mean, basically, you just you could go straight, but you go left or right. I mean, obviously, the, the pier is a big spot. So anyway, I asked the guy. We're not leaving for right now. Probably about another six minutes, six seven minutes, something like that. So that's very cool. But as you can see, uh, there are no people here. And if you know anything about me, you know that I will actually pay extra for something like this, but gratefully he didn't have to this time. So the other nice thing about that is we have the ability to sit right on the edge. And so we'll do that. Anger to great view of the whole ride. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go.